everyone welcome to the turning point in this session let us solve a problem on friction and the question is given that the 90 newton block will have impending motion in downwards and the coefficient of friction is equal to 1 by 3 so you are supposed to calculate the angle theta there so for that first I will consider the free body diagram of 90 Newton block. So when I want to consider the free body diagram of 90 Newton block, so I need to remove all the surface contacts and I need to draw that block separately. First, I am going to draw the block separately. So this is the 90 Newton block. First, I need to represent the weight there. So weight acts vertically downwards, so which is 90 Newtons. Next, you need to observe the restrictions. Here, this block is able to move in this direction, in this direction, but it is not able to move in the downward direction. So, in the opposite direction, perpendicular to surface, represent a reaction. So, I am considering that one as N1. So, as it is normal to the surface, which means a perpendicular to surface, so we will call that one as normal reaction. Here, if you observe there, in the question itself, it is mentioned that the 90 Newton block will have impending motion downwards. So when it is uh, moving, uh, when it is uh, moving in this direction down the plane, so in the opposite direction, we can have the frictional force F1, which is equal to mu N1. So here, given that mu is common for all surfaces and it is equal to 1 by 3. So when you consider the another restriction, so this, this 90 Newton block is not able to move in this direction. Why? Because there is a 30 Newton block. So for that reason, so you can uh, place a reaction there. As it is not able to move in that direction, in the opposite direction, perpendicular to surface, there will be reaction N2. When two surfaces are in contact with each other, when one of the surface tends to move in one direction, so then another force is, another surface is going to experience a, a, f, a force which is nothing but friction, right? So here this block is having motion. So if it is going to move in this direction, so then this surface is going to experience friction as well as the surface which is in contact with 30 Newton block is also going to experience friction. So here I have denoted the friction depending upon the motion. So here the same thing is going to happen. So when the block is going to move in this direction, in the opposite direction, so we can uh, place the frictional force. So I am considering it as F2, which is equal to mu N2. So this is the free body diagram for uh, 90 Newton block. So you know that this is 90 Newton. So if you observe all the forces are either along the plane or uh, uh, perpendicular to plane, except a 90 Newton force. So this is x-axis parallel to the plane, it is x-axis perpendicular to the plane, it is y-axis, I am considering like that. Uh, all the forces are along the plane or perpendicular to plane except 90 Newton block. So if you find the angle, this will be theta. So how to find whether it is theta or something? So I have explained uh, that one in earlier uh, videos. So you can refer that. Uh, finding an angle uh, with the weight or with a force which is on inclined plane you can refer that video so I want to apply equations of equilibrium for this one so there are two equations of equilibrium for coplanar congruent force system they are sigma fx is equal to 0 and sigma fy equal to 0 I would like to apply those two so here when I consider uh, n1 and n2 so they are along y direction right so when i find those uh, values i can replace those values here uh, in mu n1 and mu n2 so n1 n2 along vertical direction right for that reason i am considering sigma fy is equal to 0 so which is nothing but the algebraic sum of force components along y direction is equal to 0 so when i consider uh, the forces along y direction this is y up y for us. So n1 along positive y direction, so positive value, n2 along negative direction, minus n2. Next, 90 Newton force is inclined at an angle theta with 
vertical y axis y axis so here i can resolve 90 newtons into two components one is 90 cos theta and the one is 90 sin theta so along this direction uh, vertical direction so in this direction it is 90 cos theta and along this direction it is 90 sin theta okay i am erasing that so n1 minus n2 so for 90 newton cos uh, the uh, 90 newton the vertical component is 90 cos uh, theta no other vertical forces so equal to 0 from this n1 minus n2 is equal to 90 cos theta i got a relation for n1 and n2 here so now consider sigma fx is equal to 0 which means that the algebraic sum of force components along y direction is equal to 0 so when I consider that the forces along x direction are so mu n1 and uh, plus mu n2 so both are along positive x direction and 90 is a horizontal component so which is a minus 90 sin theta equal to 0 so these are the forces so taking a new common mu into n1 plus n2 is equal to 90 sin theta from that n1 plus n2 is equal to 90 sin theta divided by mu so mu already we got the, that one is 1 by 3 when you substitute the value of uh, mu there and if you take on to right hand side so 90 into 3 that is a 270 sin theta so if you consider this equation is 1 this one is 2 when you solve these two then you are able to find the value of n1 and n2 so i am going to find the value of uh, n2 why because so this is the force associated with 30 newton block so i will explain that one later first i am going to calculate n2 so the first equation is n1 minus n2 is equal to 90 cos theta so, so I am subtracting uh, this so minus plus minus so that is uh, uh, n1 n1 gets cancelled 2 n2 is equal to 270 sin theta minus 90 cos theta from this I can find the value of n2 n2 is equal to 270 uh, divided by uh, 2 so which is nothing but 135 sin theta minus 45 cos theta yes it is 135 so 135 sin theta minus 45 cos theta so this is the value I got uh, or relation I got so when I uh, consider the free body diagram of uh, 90 newton block now let us consider the free body diagram for 30 newton block so i am erasing this one so if you want to take it uh, you can pause the video pause the video and uh, take this one okay now i am going to draw free body diagram for 30 newton block so erasing all these things Okay, when I want to draw free body diagram, first thing I need to remember is so I need to remove all the surface contacts and I have to draw that block separately. So here first thing I need to represent is weight. So weight as vertically downwards whether the block is on inclined plane or horizontal plane or vertical plane, whatever may be the case, always weight is acting vertical downwards. So this is going to be uh, theta. And next along the string there will be tensile force along the string I am denoting with it as and it is not able to move in this direction in the opposite direction you will have a 
reaction so which is nothing but n2 so that is at the same contact point between the 30 newton block and 19 newton block right so according to newton's third law for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction for the force n2 which is acting on a 19 newton block so that is action so this is a reaction so there will be uh, an equal amount of frictional uh, force reaction also. So this block is moving in this direction. There we have represented force in that direction along the plane. So down the plane you need to represent for this one. So F2 is equal to mu N2. So this is the free body diagram for uh, second block. So which is 30 Newton block. This is X axis. This is Y axis. So now I need to consider uh, the two equations uh, sigma fx is equal to 0, sigma fy equal to 0. I think uh, no need to consider sigma fx is equal to 0. Why? Because it is not asked to calculate the value of s. Just you are supposed to calculate the value of uh, theta only. So let us uh, do that. So here this 30 Newton force can be resolved into two components, one along vertical direction, one along horizontal direction. So this is 30 cos theta, this is 30 sin theta. So considering sigma Fy is equal to 0 along y direction, this is y for us, and to acting vertically upwards and 30 cos theta acting vertically downwards. No other forces, right? So equal to 0. From this, already we have got the value of n2 earlier, which is nothing but 135 sin theta minus 45 cos theta is equal to, sorry, minus 30 cos theta equal to 0. From this, I can write that 135 sin theta is equal to 45 plus 30, that is 75 cos theta. From that, sin theta divided by cos theta is equal to 75 divided by 135. From that, tan theta is equal to So this is 0 0.555 from this theta is equal to tan inverse of this value so which is nothing but 29.05 degrees so this is the angle we need to calculate hope you like the video if you like the video click on like button uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching